Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video, we'll continue to learn about pandas. In previous video, we looked at what was time of a rolling windows and how uh, we can use the upper uh, different bounds for a window, which was left, right or both. And then how we can center the windows. In this video, we'll look at custom functions where we can set those bounds for each uh, window in the rolling function. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and start coding. Here, I've already created a new notebook and imported two libraries, NumPy and Pandas, and created this data frame, which has two columns. Uh, the column A is the one that we are going to work with, and the column uh, expected output is the output that we are going to need or we are trying to get that output using the custom window and I, i'll explain that how that's going to work so custom rolling window and for a custom rolling window we are going to need to import a library which is uh, indexer so from pandas.api.indexers we are going to import uh, base uh, indexers sorry base indexer and indexers sorry indexer okay and uh, the expand list is what we are going to create to tell the function what uh, window they need to use so we are going to create two types of windows simultaneously sorry false so and these would be repeated so we have six rows so that's why we have six true false right there and go run that now the output is the way we are going to use this list is as follows whenever there is true what we want uh, the window to do is get, uh, the upper bound would be zero and the lower bound would be the position of that window and also the output sum would be all values within it so for this one the, there is no value in the upper bound so the lower bound is 100 and therefore we have 100 now where this is true the upper bound is 100 lower bound is 2 so all values in between have a value of 105 total is 105 and finally for this particular row the upper bound is zero index which is 100 and the lower bound is uh, that particular value and all the values in between so we have 100 plus 5 plus 4 is 109 and now for false uh, what we are going to do is take the number at that location at that index so for this one it would be the index is one and then plus the upper bound would be that index plus two so we'll set a window size is equal to two for this one so three plus two is uh sorry one plus two is three and so this will be one two and three so before three so we have three plus two is five and therefore we have five similarly for this this is as uh, this is at index number three so zero one two three so it will start at three and then because the index uh, sorry because the window size is two uh, we'll have three plus two five so we go up to five so it's three four five so before five whatever number are there we'll add this so four and n a n so the output will be four lastly for this one this is at index 5 and so 5 plus window size of 2 would be 7 so we start at 5 and there's nothing below it so the output would have just 10 so now let's get started uh, on writing this function so for this we'll first create a class a custom window and for the and for this we'll use the base indexer as input uh, that that's what we have imported right there 
and then within it we are going to create a method which is a function get underscore windows window underscore bounds now this name has to be the same and this has to be same. you can change the name of the class if you want to so self and then num values would be the number of rows in the data frame mean periods then we have center and closed so a closed is the one that will uh, be can be used if we if there is a need to use either the left right or both uh, bounds now here first what we'll do is initialize empty array initialize and we'll set w1 as the one type of window which has the trues so zeros and we'll use the num underscore values uh, so the whatever is the number of rows we'll use that here so type is equal to and then data type would be int 64 and i'm gonna go ahead and copy this paste it here and we have w2 which is again the same thing next uh, let's go ahead and find the bounds so we need to iterate over this particular expand list that we have created and to do that we are going to use the num values uh, to go through all of that so the num values is six in this case so we have four i in range num underscore values and then here we'll create a condition if it's we need to check if it's true or false so if uh, self dot expand uh, expand when true is equal to so this is the input variable that's going to read this expand list and i'll explain that in a minute so expand when true is equal uh, expand when true i so uh, that's going to be a list is equal to true here if we omit this it still would work uh, if we remove the is equal to and true that also would work in this case so something like this would also work as well and here we have w1 i is equal to zero so that's the up uh, bound on upper side of the number and then we have w2 i is equal to i plus one as we saw so up to that number plus one because uh, if we this is in if we are looking at index uh, two for example here we need to have the lower bound uh, right here which is uh, three so zero one two three so before three is two and therefore we can use those values to aggregate that's why we have plus one here else if that's not the case then we have w1 i uh, has a value of i which is the index of that row and then w2 would be that row plus the window size and in this case we'll have window size of 2 so and it will be 1 plus 2 finally uh, once we have this we are going to return a tuple w1 and w2 each of them would be arrays that have the values for the upper and lower bounds okay that's the uh, class we have created now the self what it does is uh, when we input the values it recognizes those to be used in this function so bound bound underscore index so this is the instance we are creating for this class of so custom window and uh, here we'll specify the window size is equal to 2 and that's what is going to get used here where we have self dot windows and 
uh, expand when true is equal to expand list that we have created above and this is what's going to get used here where it says self dot expand when true so when we create this now we can use this bound uh, underscore index uh, to uh, use those two custom functions that we have inside the class custom window so to do that uh, let's create another let's store this value in another column so i'm going to create a underscore new and we'll call it df df a dot rolling bound underscore index uh, which is we are going to use this uh, as a window and dot sum uh, which would aggregate it and when we run this what this is now doing is what uh, we talked about earlier for this expected output and when uh, when we have the when we pass the data frame to the rolling function this particular uh, instance that we have created passes the data frame to the custom window and then the custom within here the base indexer reads the data frame and finds that it has a number of rows as six and that's put in here and uh, we are also passing the list which is the expand list as for this particular expand went true and that's get that gets used in this variable right here and thus uh, in this particular section when whenever there is the true condition is matched in that case the bounds are set uh, with the upper bound is zero or so the starting point is zero and the end point for that window is uh, that uh, row itself and for the other window it will start at that row and go one row down so just to repeat this again uh, for this particular row I'm going to go from i which is 1 to i plus 2 which is 3 and so 1 2 and 3 so before 3 so 3 plus 2 5 and that's why we have 5 here and for this one here we are going to start from 0 and go up to 0 1 2 and 2 plus 1 is 3 so we go up to here and before that we have 2 so 100 plus 5 is 105 and that's the output that was it for this video uh, if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below Please like, share and subscribe. I hope to see you all in the next video where we are going to continue this discussion on rolling windows and specifically look at how to calculate pairwise uh, correlation and covariances in, uh, in the windows. Thank you.